If you're like me, you use Automatic 1111 Stable Diffusion Web UI every day, but you'd probably love even more control over your images. Do you want to add the power of node-based AI workflows to the tools you already use? Well, stick with me. I'm committing Stable Inception wow. by installing Comfy UI as an extension for Auto 1111 today on Building Dreams. This tutorial is brought to you by Stream Studio and also by RunPod. Go to runpod.everlyheights.tv to spin up a stable diffusion server in just a couple of minutes. Hey Dreamers, it's Bill Meeks here for Building Dreams, where I help you use the latest AI technology to build dreams of your own, just like I'm using them to build the first animated series set in my Everly Heights universe, a sitcom called Very Special. Now, if you've been wondering where I've been, I've been working on recording with the actors to produce the pilot for Very Special. So sorry, I haven't had a lot of tutorials or walkthroughs for Stable Diffusion lately, but we should be getting back on track now that the pilot is finally recorded. Now, if you're not familiar, Comfy UI is a node-based front end for Stable Diffusion, offering workflows that might seem familiar to 3D artists. This UI is powerful and it gives you complete control over how your image is rendered. And it generates images faster, larger, and in many cases, better than native image generation in Auto 1111. Yes, Comfy UI is awesome and I'm excited to use it, but I don't want it to replace Auto 1111 in my workflows since Auto has so many kick butt extensions, add-ons, and a great community of people building stuff for it. I also didn't want to have to maintain two sets of models, VAEs, lores, etc. These files can get pretty big, right? Last week, a user on the Stable Diffusion subreddit shared an awesome new extension that installs Comfy UI as a plugin within Auto 1111 and lets you use it either in a tab or in a dedicated window. All right, let's go ahead and download and install the plugin. To install the extension, go ahead and copy the URL from this GitHub page. I should have it down in the video description. Then come over to the extensions tab in Auto 1111. Click install from URL. Paste in your GitHub link. Go ahead and put in a local directory name as sd-webui-comfyui and then click install. Okay, now that it's installed, uh, we need to come over to the installed tab and apply and restart UI. Now this will take a minute. We're gonna be uh, reloading the UI from scratch again, just to be sure it all sets in there properly. And you'll see we have the Comfy UI tab, but it's not working yet. So now we need to go in here and click Install Comfy UI. And you'll see it says here, Install. Now please reload the UI. So what we'll do, we'll come back here to our terminal. We're gonna shut it down. And then we're going to go ahead and relaunch the web UI from scratch. When it loads back up, you'll see the Comfy UI engine is loaded, and you'll get a second link you can use to connect to Comfy UI in its own window. You'll see that right here in the console window. It should be the same IP that you're usually connecting to your Stable Diffusion install with, but it'll have a different port number, in this case, 8188. And you'll see that if we go to that in the web browser, it loads up Comfy UI. Solo, just like that. So you don't have to use it within the Auto 1111 interface, but you totally can thanks to this tab. So it, it's really up to you. Uh, the extension doesn't really have any means to send your work from Comfy UI directly into a tab in Auto 1111, but it's really nice to keep it all in the same workspace. Now, Comfy UI didn't work out of the gate for me since it couldn't find my VAE files. There's probably a config file you can tweak, but I ended up just copying my over my main VAE into the SDI Web UI Comfy UI installation folder since it's only a few hundred megabytes. To copy it over, you'll just come to your extensions folder, go into Comfy UI, then models, then VAE, and then paste in your VAE here. Now, once you copy that over, just restart your web UI and it should pick up on your VAE. 
Now, the nice thing is it went ahead and picked up all of my custom models and my Loras and all that stuff. So this was really the only thing I had to have a couple copies of lying around. Okay, so we have it installed. Now, I'm not going to do an in-depth tutorial on Comfy UI today, but one of the best ways to get acclimated to the nodes and how they connect is to import a workflow from your favorite images you've generated using Auto 1111. Now to load an image with its workflow intact, just click load in Comfy UI, then navigate to your renders folder and select an image. Like I'm gonna go ahead and select this one right here. Comfy UI will do its best to read your PNG info from the image and rebuild the workflow in on this big grid here. And the image is done. If we click in here, we can zoom in and see. Yep, that's everything everywhere all at once. Now the importing isn't always perfect. Uh, sometimes you'll have to tweak some settings or reconnect some nodes to get it working. You'll see a lot of settings you're familiar with here. Prompts, negative prompts, sampler settings, CFG scale, etc. Now one of my favorite things about Comfy UI is how well it deals with memory. In auto on my main machine, I can generate images that are 1024 by 1024 without completely melting my graphics card. In Comfy UI, I'm able to generate images that are two to three times the size without any issues, even if they take a little while to render. Now, words of the wise, uh, these images won't save to your auto 1111 export folder. Um, they'll save into an output folder where the extension is installed in Comfy UI slash output. Now, it's a good idea to know where this is because when you find something you like, you can go ahead and just drag and drop it right over into your image to image tab and keep working on it from there. And that's how to combine Auto 1111 and Comfy UI into a megazord of image generation power. Well, thanks for joining me today. I can't wait to share more about Everly Heights and how I'm using the latest AI technology to bring my creative dreams to life. See you next time and keep creating. Read the stories and join the team at everlyheights.tv. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Everly Heights. Watch us build Everly Heights in building dreams by subscribing to at Bill Meeks LA on YouTube. And why don't you like this video while you're at it to help people find our stuff? To contact us about partnership opportunities, or if you have questions about joining the team, send an email to billmeeks at everlyheights.tv. I'm going to do that one more time.